Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is meteorologist Brian Peters with your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July the 13th. Wow, the middle of July already. Let's get right to the SkyCam network as we have some changes going on in the forecast. There's the Birmingham shot, and we got a few clouds passing, and also a little bit of fog out there in a few spots. And Gadsden, as we look out to the east and southeast, we can see a bit of a cloud deck off to in that direction, and that's uh, clouds that'll be coming in our way. We did have a front that moved through the area yesterday. Well, I don't know if I'd call it exactly a front. It was a wind shift line, and it did help to bring drier air in. Surface map this morning shows that the dew points across North Alabama generally in the lower 60s, while the dew points across South Alabama generally in the lower 70s. So you can see that dividing line, the dividing line coming uh, pretty much between uh, Alabaster, Calera, and uh, Montgomery. So it, the front lies, or the boundary lies somewhere along there. In the upper atmosphere, we have this pattern we've seen of a bit of a troughiness over uh, with a low over the uh, eastern part of the country, and that low is going to be retrograding or moving back to the west-southwest over the next several days, and that's going to allow for the development of more showers and thunderstorms. On the southeastern radar overlay, we can see a good deal of showers and thunderstorms stretching all the way from the uh, outer banks of North Carolina down along the coast and down into the northeast gulf, where we actually have a bit of a uh, surface low. On the watch warning map, uh, we do have some flash flood watches over the Carolinas, uh, South Carolina and North Carolina especially. And we have uh, that orange area's uh, heat advisory out in the central plains. QPF-wise, we're expecting on the order of a couple of inches of rain over the southeastern U.S. But, of course, as that uh, low retrogrades down into the west Texas, they're going to get uh, some rain down in that direction. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk for severe storms, organized severe weather over the Dakotas, and that area stays that way for about the next uh, two or three days. Tropics, we're still watching the remnants of Chantal that are moving through the Bahamas and producing showers and thunderstorms generally northeast of the Bahamas. That area expected to continue moving northward. And then, of course, we have the little uh, weak low over the northeastern Gulf, but that is probably going to bring us some pretty good rain chances on uh, Sunday. All right, the 06E GFS model run. There's the upper uh, low over the Ohio River Valley, and that's going to be moving off to the west-southwest. In the meantime, we see a good um, amount of shower activity over the southeastern U.S., and for today, I think showers are kind of on the increase, probably dry across the Tennessee River Valley, transitioning to scattered showers in the... Birmingham uh, down to Montgomery, and then a better chance for showers from Montgomery southward. And you can see uh, the drier air in place. This is the precipitable water chart for today at 18Z. And you can see the uh, drier air, especially over Memphis, uh, but uh, you can see the really r moisture rich air with over two inch precipitable water values in the pink that are uh, over the southeast. Now that changes pretty rapidly because look at the moisture increase over Alabama as we get up uh, above about 1.8 inches of precipital water. So that means showers are going to be a lot more likely on Sunday. And uh, in the upper uh, pattern for Sunday at 18Z, we see the upper low now over northeast Oklahoma. So it's going to make a, a retrograding trip back to the west-southwest. And, of course, that puts uh, the southeast U.S. under favorable location for a good deal of shower and thunderstorm development. The ridge becomes the dominant feature by Monday as that uh, little upper low moves over into West Texas, producing some showers and thunderstorms under it. Uh, but that upper ridge becoming the dominant feature for our weather pattern as we head into a week that looks like it's going to be primarily driven by the heat with the daily shower chances. And there's a look at the surface chart for Monday. And again, you know, kind of scattered showers. Maybe we'll be as dry as the GFS suggested, but we'll have to put showers in the forecast. The pattern in the upper atmosphere by Tuesday is still the upper ridge over, you can see, over pretty much Indiana. It stays that way pretty much on Wednesday, and we don't see a lot of change even on Thursday, although we're beginning to see signs as it moves over towards Illinois and into Missouri, so it's retrograding itself. And then by Friday, you know, the ridge is uh, moved over. 
uh, to the central plains. And we're beginning to see, once again, kind of a slight northwesterly flow. So we're beginning to show the development of another uh, upper trough over the eastern half of the country. And that becomes a little more accentuated on Saturday. And so once again, through the end of the week and into next weekend, it looks like just uh, air mass showers and thunderstorms. Looking out into voodoo country, it uh, looks like we're going to see this pattern we've been seeing a lot of this summer with the troughiness over the eastern half of the country as the GFS develops a pretty good trough over the eastern half of the country by the 23rd. It stays that way pretty much around the 24th, but by the time we get out to the 28th, looks like uh, we're back into pretty warm weather as the upper uh, ridge, the 594 heat bubble, begins to develop over or is located over the uh, central plain states. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for today. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>